So I've seen people uh, on YouTube talking about um, Paul Sykes and his time in Middlesbrough and um, in the Havana, which was, uh, well, there was a speakeasy first and then there was a Havana. Um, the certain story that everyone kind of um, shut up, kind of stood up and, you know, basically chased him out. Uh, so I interviewed a, a witness, uh, a very well-known Middlesbrough guy, for my very first book, Sykes, Unfinished Agony. I won't name him, but uh, I interviewed him on November the 2nd, 2015. Uh, and I do have the recording. I've still got it. Um, so that can kind of back up what I'm saying. So he said to me that... Uh, so this was the year was 1991. Um, you know, Duffy was uh, obviously still about then. Um, and um, he was in the Havana... And uh, he'd been in prison with uh, Sykes in the late 70s. Um, so he obviously kind of recognised him. And um, obviously there was a bit of presence, if you like, a bit of kind of um, bit of an atmosphere. Because uh, Sykes came in with Tony Spensley and uh, John Spensley, very good friend of mine who sadly passed not too long ago. Um, he'd basically said Sykes was uh, looking very smart, trademark. Short black hair, a parting, um, moustache, blue pinstripe suit, um, cowboy boots on. And um, after kind of looking over for a little bit, he said, uh, you know, I, I think they drink kind of, you know, a bit of Dutch courage and uh, kind of went over to him, obviously, because this guy had followed his boxing career as well. And, uh, and said, it's Sykes, isn't it? You know, and he... Sykes was a bit hesitant and he said, uh, he went, eh, yeah, it is, kid, why? And um, obviously then this guy kind of told him that he remembers him in prison. Um, I'm just trying to think, 14 years previously. Um, and then he starts talking about his career and Sykes running up Bellyache Hill, which was uh, a place in Wakefield. It was all in the sun to sun, basically, um, the build up to the John L. Gardner fight. Um, so this guy kind of, you know, sat there, talked to Sykes for a bit, buying him, bought him a drink, Sykes bought him on back. And and um, so I, this this evening, there was quite, uh, I mean, I know the names, I'm not going to mention them, uh, but there was quite a lot of, I suppose, well-known Borough, Middlesbrough men, um, you know, from that world, if you like, the, the fighting type. And um, people, you know, it kind of got round that, you know, it's Paul Sykes and there was a, because quite a lot of lads from um, over the border, he's telling me, which is, uh, I suppose, the hard area of Middlesbrough. Uh, you know, quite a lot of fighting men come over there, from there. Um, so this guy says to me, he says, so as he was on the way out with uh, Tony Spencer at the end of the night, he said, I waved to him and said, you know, good night, good chat, and he acknowledged. And um, and that was that. And um, Sykes kind of turns around and says, Good night, lads. To a lot of um, you know people, he's been taught to people in the night, and I suppose he was a, he was a big name. And um, I'll just turn, and um, as Sykes was going out the door, you know there was a, as I said, a huge group, maybe twelve, fifteen people, and a a, a, a voice shouted out, "Are you still a queer, Paul?" And um, so the guys said my my initial reaction was I felt sorry for Sykes here um, because there was, you know, double figures people and they were all really, really rough, rough people. And um, basically he's told me there that he said, Sykes had heard what had, shout, what had been shouted at him, paused very calm, calmly, done a U-turn, strolled over, said it was like something out of a, a John Wayne film and basically stood in front of the... Havana, no, that's not the dance floor. There, there was another room. Um, I kind of was familiar for when it was like Club Toxin. Uh, so I kind of know the layout. And so Sykes kind of stood up and said, whoever said that, whoever the the coward said that, reveal yourself. And um, this guy, you know, it's a very, very different story to the one which kind of gets said, which um, just proves utter nonsense, more lies. And um, he said to me, he said, no one said a word. He said the place completely fell silent uh, and there was mutterings from the bloke's mates saying, 
you know, I've told him to behave and, and um, you know, there was a, an awkward, eerie silence, if you like. And then all of a sudden Sykes, you know, no one, no one come out and said it. And uh, he said, good night, lads, again. And that was that. And he left. And, uh, you know, when Sykes had kind of left, the guy who said it jumped up and done a Kung Fu kick and said I was going to give him one of them. And the place was laughing. And and uh, so that's a very, very different story to um, kind of what gets said. Um, as I said, I do have that recording. I've still got that. Uh, what are we on now? Eight and a half years ago. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to name him, but that's that was the guy's account who was there. Um, it's very, very different to what certain someone says. But uh, let us know your thoughts, guys. Comments below. And, uh, yeah, that was um, when, the, when Paul Sykes went into the Havana in 1991.